We're here today in the freezing cold because our communities are in need of replacement housing and affordable housing. We can't continue to allow the displacement and replacement of black people out of our community to continue. That's right. This, this particular alderman is not helping with bringing back the folks that were promised homes back on this site. Right. There were 3,000 units of public housing here. Yes. Only 1,000 was going to come back. And they only bought back 250. Now, <laughs> land is given away for a grocery store, and yet yeah, the community does need a grocery store. We give them that. But we also need housing. Right. Those 750 units that are still old this site are needed. People need housing. Right. And this particular alderman is not worried and not concerned with his constituents and bringing back the promises that were made for those people to return to this site, to bring back the affordable housing, and again, to stop the displacement and replacement of poor blacks and working families out of this community. So we're here to say this can't continue. This can't continue. We need a community benefits agreement that one, talks about the replacement housing and lays out a plan, a detailed plan, so we know when they're going to be back online. We know when people can have homes again. And also the jobs. How, make, how, how can we ensure that the community can benefit from the development jobs and, and the retail jobs that are going to come to this site? I am here because Alderman Burns has committed a disservice against the low income and working families of the ward. By using public land to offer a sweetheart deal to Mariano, Alderman Burns has not only broken the promises made to the families who used to live here, he has also brought a business into the community that has a dismal track record of hiring locally and employing ex-offenders. Mariano's also caters to a more affluent clientele than currently exists in the immediate vicinity. Most long-term residents will remember the excitement we all had when we learned the Hyde Park Co-op was opening at a location at 47th and Lake Park. That excitement soon turned to discontent when we realized we couldn't afford to shop there. Many long-term residents will also remember the struggles to make sure Kenwood and Oakland residents were employed there. I asked Alderman Burns, why are we reliving history? Who did you consult before making this decision? When he announced Mariano's was coming to the area last year, it was already a done deal. When arguments were raised about the disposition of public land and Mariano's hiring practices, he shrugged them off as if they were irrelevant. If we have to be stuck with a Mariano's at this site, we need a community benefits agreement right. to protect the interests of the people who have called this community home for generations. We need a plan for where the replacement housing will go. We need a plan for local hiring and hiring ex-offenders without forcing them to wear ankle bracelets that are visible to all shoppers, as was done at one of the near north locations. We also need a plan to increase public transportation options along this corridor. Lastly, we need real public process, wherein the voices of the people most impacted will be heard, respected, and acted upon.